one of the most requested water filters on our channel. Today, we're reviewing the WaterDrop G3P800, a tankless under sink reverse osmosis system. And we'll cover everything you need to know, including real world contaminant reduction and potential chemical leaching based on our lab testing. Plus, we'll review the one thing you must know before buying. So stick around because you don't want to miss this. Hi, I'm Sarah from BOS Water, and today we're reviewing another frequently requested water filter on our channel, the WaterDrop G3P800, a tankless, under-the-sink RO. And as always, our review includes independent lab testing to evaluate real-world contaminant reduction and potential leaching. And we'll also discuss how our tap water tasted and smelled after filtration, how easy or difficult it was to assemble and prime the system, day-to-day -day use, filter replacements, and more, including the one thing, in our opinion, you definitely need to be aware of before spending your money. But before we dive in, a quick note, as always, you can find our full analysis of the WaterDrop G3P800, including lab reports in our Google Sheets. So this sheet, for example, compares 12 different under sink RO systems, including the newly added WaterDrop G3P800. It also includes our product links and several discount codes. So if you're thinking of buying and want to save a few bucks while supporting our work, definitely check it out. Now, at the time we're filming this, WaterDrop hasn't yet agreed to provide us with a discount code for their G3P800, but if they do, we will add it to the sheet, so don't forget. You'll find all the relevant links in the video description below. All right, let's get into the review. First off, the WaterDrop G3P800 is very similar to the G3P600, which is a super popular system that actually became our number one pick for tankless RO systems in our big under sink reverse osmosis comparison video. I'll link it in the description too. Now the main difference is the G3P800 is faster, meaning a higher flow rate when you open the faucet and more efficient producing less wastewater. And we'll break both of those down in more detail in just a moment. So yes, the G3P800 is technically an upgrade, but it also comes at a price. Aside from that, the G3P800 and the G3P600 seem nearly identical. They're even the same size. Speaking of which, when unboxing the G3P800, it immediately feels well-made. And also because it's tankless, it takes up much less space compared to a traditional tank-based reverse osmosis system. We measured about 5.5 inches wide, 17 inches tall, and 17 inches deep. So saving space is one of the key advantages here. Now, before we could take our unfiltered and filtered water samples for lab testing, we had to connect the system to our water supply and prime the filters. Good news is installation is super straightforward, largely thanks to the clear, thorough, and easy to follow instructions. Here's a quick rundown. Shut off the cold water supply and install the feed water adapter. After drilling a hole into your countertop, install the faucet by inserting it along with the attached tubing into the hole and tightening the mounting washer. Cut the faucet's tubing to be able to install the UV sterilizer. There's a tube cutter included in the box, which is super convenient. Next, drill a hole in the sink's drain pipe and install the drain saddle. Now, when we tested the WaterDrop G3P600 and X12, they came with a drain saddle that was slightly too large for our sink drain pipe. So with those models, we had to use some extra foam board, but this was not the issue with the G3P800. So apparently this has been fixed. Then place the RO housing under your sink and connect all of the tubing. The hose inputs on the module are a little bit narrow, so the hoses require a bit more effort to push all the way in. Then connect both the faucet's power and the UV sterilizer's power, followed by the unit's power cord. Install the filters with a simple twist motion, plug in the system, and it will automatically start flushing for five minutes. Turn on the faucet and let the water run for 30 minutes until the faucet displays a TDS reading then the system is ready for use. Once the system was set up, we collected two water samples, one from our unfiltered tap and one straight from the RO faucet. We sent both of those to a lab to see how the impurity levels changed before and after filtration. Now, a quick disclaimer, before and after lab testing isn't an exact science. So there's always some margin for error. Things like cross-contamination can affect the results. So we also didn't repeat the testing and only evaluated a single unit using our own tap water. So that means we could only measure the contaminants as they occur in our water supply. So think of this as a helpful snapshot 
not a final verdict. And if you found this video helpful so far, we'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. All right, so here's what we found. The water drop G3P800 removed nearly all the undesirable impurities and contaminants in our water. Chlorine, all four disinfection byproducts, copper, barium, zinc, and uranium. We also saw a 90% TDS reduction. So although not the highest we've measured from an under sink RO system, it's still a strong result. Now, traces of boron, strontium, nitrate, and fluoride remained in our water. Boron was only reduced by 20%, which actually gives the G3P800 the second lowest boron reduction rate among the systems we've tested. On the flip side, strontium was reduced by 97%, so really good. And as for nitrate and fluoride, we could only calculate minimum reduction rates because the remaining levels were too low for the lab to quantify precisely. And so compared to the competition, the G3P800 did at least as good as any of the other systems for fluoride, while for nitrate, about half of the other systems did a little bit better and removed 100%. So overall, these are pretty impressive filtration results and no signs of chemical leaching whatsoever. And finally, when we compare the water drop G3P800 and the G3P600, we find pretty much the same results, which isn't too surprising because the systems are so similar. In fact, they even use the same pre and post filter cartridges. That said, there is one other aspect that sets the two filtration processes apart, the G3P800's UV module. Now in theory, UV light disinfects water by inactivating bacteria and other microorganisms so they can't reproduce. Now it's a proven method of disinfection, however, we can't confirm how effective the UV module is in this case, since we don't take our water samples in a sterile environment. What we know, however, is that unlike chlorine, UV doesn't offer residual protection, meaning germs can start to regrow after the disinfection stage if they're still present or if they can somehow find their way back into the water. At the same time, the G3P800's UV light only activates when the system is dispensing. So you'll see the blue ring light up whenever it's on. So it doesn't constantly run, which saves energy. And so we see it as a nice extra feature. It might not make a huge difference for everyone, but certainly doesn't hurt to have, right? All right, next up, NSF certifications and additional third-party testing for contaminant reduction. We have official certifications against NSF standards 42, 53, and 58 for the reduction of chlorine, PFOA and PFOS, TDS, fluoride, cadmium, chromium-6, selenium, barium, and radium. So pretty solid coverage. In addition to that, WaterDrop provides third-party test data covering all the important substances, including more PFAS types, lead, nitrate, VOCs, and so-called emerging compounds. So this looks really promising. And finally, taste and odor, perfect. Our filtered water was clean and exactly how you'd want it to be. Okay, let's talk about everyday use, which is as simple as turning the handle on the side of the dedicated faucet to dispense water. And by the way, we think the faucet looks great on the sink and it feels sturdy and built to last. Dispensing speed? Well, in our test, it took just 5.25 seconds to fill an eight ounce cup. So faster than the seven seconds we measured for the G3P600. And among all the tankless RO systems we've tested, only the water drop X12 was faster at 4.25 seconds. And compared to our seven tank-based ROs, most of those were faster than the G3P800. However, keep in mind that unlike a tank-based RO, which stores filtered water ready to dispense, the G3P800 filters on demand because it's tankless. And that's why it uses an electric pump to make the filtration process fast enough in real time. One big advantage of this, the flow rate stays consistent. So unlike tank-based systems, which slow down as their tank empties, a tankless system keeps going at a steady speed and you basically can't run out of filtered water. Plus the booster pump makes the G3P800 far less dependent on your home's water pressure. So if you have low feed pressure, the system still works efficiently. By contrast, traditional tank-based ROs can really struggle with low pressure, slowing down filtration, reducing faucet flow and increasing wastewater production. Okay, two quick things before we get to the one big detail we teased at the start of this video. The mysterious thing we think you absolutely need to know before buying. First, the G3P800 features a TDS display on both faucet and the main unit. And while not 100% precise based on our testing, the TDS tracking is accurate enough to monitor filtration performance in real time. And second, both faucet and module 
also have filter life indicators. So when you combine that with the TDS readings, you'll know exactly when it's time to replace the modular filters, which is also super easy. You just twist out the old and twist in the new. Then reset the filter life indicator and prime the newly installed cartridge. Done. All right, finally, what is it about the WaterDrop G3P800 that, if you don't know up front, could seriously change how you feel about the system after installation? It's all about wastewater. Now, all reverse osmosis systems produce some wastewater. That's just how the process works. And in our test, the G3P800 did really well. It produced only half a gallon for every gallon of purified water. That's actually the second best ratio we've measured and only the water drop X12 was better. But here's the catch. Just like the G3P600 and X12, the G3P800 runs an automated flushing cycle every time you dispense water followed by five minutes of the system sitting idle. Now, in theory, this is a good thing. The flushing helps prevent TDS creep, which is when dissolved solids slip through the membrane if it hasn't been used in a while, right? So in that sense, it's a smart feature allowing you to dispense higher quality water. Plus, it helps extend the life of the RO membrane according to water drought. But here's the downside. Each of these auto flushes uses 28 ounces of water no matter how much you actually dispensed. So let's say you pour just one cup of RO water, that creates 0.5 cups of initial wastewater, plus another 28 ounces or three and a half cups five minutes later. That's four cups of waste for one cup of purified water. Suddenly that great one to 0.5 ratio we measured becomes more like one to four, which is about what you'd get from a basic tank-based RO system without a permeate pump. But here's the good news. You can avoid that kind of waste by dispensing larger amounts of water at once and storing it for later. Why? Because again, the flush cycle always uses the same 28 ounces, whether you dispense a cup or a gallon. So if you pour a full gallon at once, your total wastewater comes to about 0.72 gallons, which is excellent. And even half a gallon at once puts you close to a one to 0.9 ratio, still very efficient. Of course, if you'd rather not think about this and just use the system normally, that's totally fine. Just be aware that in that case, the advertised wastewater efficiency doesn't apply most likely, and the actual waste could be much closer to what you'd see with a traditional RO system. Okay. What about third-party user feedback? Overall, most reviews are very positive, but there were some recurring complaints worth mentioning. Some users report system failures after one or two years of use, and others mention poor customer service and warranty support. There are also complaints about misleading wastewater claims, which we've just talked about. Noise is another one, and yes, the system does make some noise, but we didn't find it bothersome. And finally, a few users have reported leaking. Costs? Well, based on rated filter life, 550 gallons or six months for the pre-filter, 2,200 gallons or two years for the RO membrane, and 1,100 gallons or 12 months for the post-filter, we estimate about $160 per year in filter replacements. That's actually below average compared to the other 11 under-sink RO systems we've tested. You can also save 5% with a filter subscription. Now for the upfront cost, the G3P800 is often on sale, and at the time of filming, it's listed at $849. And remember, you might be able to knock a few extra dollars off if WaterDrop agrees to provide us with a discount code, but that's still a hefty price and considerably more than the smaller G3P600. Is it worth the extra money? That really depends. If you want the faster faucet flow, lower wastewater ratio, and built-in UV module, then the G3P800 could be a great fit. But if you'd rather save some cash, going with the more affordable G3P600 is still a solid choice. And finally, the G3P800 comes with a one-year limited warranty. All right, we made it. <laughs> Here's our quick summary of the water drop G3P800. It's a highly effective tankless under sink reverse osmosis system that removes a wide range of contaminants and produces water that tastes and smells perfectly clean. The build quality feels solid and well-designed. It's easy to use and the filtration speed is impressive. It has a low pure to drain ratio in ideal conditions. The auto flushing feature helps reduce TDS creep and extend membrane life, but that same feature can waste a significant amount of water if you're dispensing in small amounts. And while the annual filter replacement cost is reasonable, the upfront price 
is definitely on the higher side. Okay, don't forget to check out our Google Sheet for the full analysis of the Waterdrop G3P800 along with the 11 other Undersink RO systems we've tested, including our products links and codes, all added in the description below. We've also got plenty of other water filter comparisons here on the channel, such as our top 10 countertop RO systems. So be sure to check those out too. And as always, drop any questions or filter requests in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.